Okay. Right. Oh, cool. Okay, so <laughs> welcome to episode 45, which I'm Yay! turning in like a month or two, um, <laughs> of Theater School Rejects, the podcast. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and Ronnie and, and so I'm here with the Ronnie, Richard Older, you can find at richardkolder.com or at Rich, Richard or, K. Older. Yeah, or you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at rkolder. And um, you got a website too, right? No. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not a great website. But you can find it on YouTube. Rebuilding Search it. Richard Yolder and he's got some great sets on YouTube. One, and he's got some great short movies too, like um, 30, 60 Seconds to Love. Yeah. And, and then we have the trailer for, uh, for Doing Wrong on there too. Nice. Yeah, 60 Seconds to Love. That's going to be a great fun. movie. In like yeah. in five, ten years. It's going to be a great movie. It's going to be a great movie in five, ten years. Uh, like Boris and the Bomb. Um, and then we got two people joining us. Um, you know, how do you want to be known to, the, to, the, to our fives of listeners? I just call, just call me Mike, I guess. Mike uh, and yeah, Sabrina. <laughs> Mike and Sabrina. So they came out to the show. They were two-thirds of our audience members, and then Ronnie was the other third. Woo! It was a great That's show. What I do. Right? Yeah. It was a fun show. Yeah, it was fun. I enjoyed and and I had this great idea that like any money that we raise in ticket sales... Because the venue cost like hundred bucks, I was like, any money we raised in ticket sales that was under a hundred, I would give as a loan to Richard, and anything like over that was a profit, I would Richard's give them. Super well, I just like, to get no, no, home. but for his insurance, because because he needs like two hundred dollars worth of insurance, and I was like, oh, and I'm like, oh, that fifteen dollars isn't gonna help too He's much. He's like, hey, I thought I would donate, you know, the ticket sales to your to your insurance no, fund. He's like, how much you need? And like two hundred bucks. He's like, well. Here's ten. I'll give you put another five. I gave more money to the bartender, so there you go. No, but like, but like, but like, um, but you know, well, someday you know, you're gonna have insurance someday. Here. One day, it's a goal. One day, I you too dream. will be a grown up in that far off future. Well, I used to like not have insurance as like a protest. Like I felt like the government it's shouldn't. A scam. Com- I felt the government shouldn't compel you. They shouldn't be able to say like you have to price. patronize this business, right? Anyway, I was super libertarian for like a year, and and then I got pulled over by the cops, and they fucking like just Crushed raped me. Religion. Yeah, <laughs> and I was like, the guy's like, "Oh, let me see your license, registration, insurance." I'm like, "I don't have any of those." I, I had a license. Suck I was like, "You can do one of three. You can have one of those." They took my car, man. They just impounded it. Oh, <laughs> sucked. I had to walk home. <laughs> I got one of those three. Do you have to guess which one it is? <laughs> so you think it's registration? Pick a card. Pick a card. Yeah. Pick a card. <laughs> oh, They're like, man. none of the above. Out of the car, sir. <laughs> so. Did fucking, they really impound your car? Probably they did. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh shit. Well, this, this was this was New Jersey, not California. California, they probably like, well, well, here's a ticket. Try and fix it sometime. California was much more mellow than New Jersey. Yeah, yeah they just give tickets and then send you to collections. They're just trying to collect money. Eventually, I had to pay New Jersey like eight hundred dollars, like ten years later. Damn! Jesus Christ! I, I went to renew my license in California. They're like, "You have a hold for eight hundred dollars from New Jersey," and I'm like, "Fuck you, Jersey." Well, yeah. That's what usually everybody says about New Jersey. Let's just right. take a <laughs> fuck Jersey. Let's just take a short walk while we're doing this. We usually walk and talk. Yeah. Um. Anyway, I've been kind of talking. So you guys came to the show. Was you, do you have a favorite comic? So obviously, leaving Richard just old, old out of it because obviously he's your favorite. The headliner. That's true. They they did they did drive all the way. It was one of the mul- multiple bearded men. I, I'm not sure. I think there that was, was lots Brian. Of Brian. Oh, no. he was, he Brian was really, was really good. good. He yeah. was very good. And was very so good. was was the MC. Yeah. Erica, she's Erica. great. Yeah. 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 Erica, Erica really she's fun. very good too. Yeah. Yeah. Erica's a theater school reject regular. She normally headlines. She headlined our first last, show. Yeah. Last week, yeah, she headlined our first show. And last week, I hit her up said, hey. Would you do the MC duties on the show? And she's like, yeah. I was like, fuck, right on. Because she's a funny chick. I dig her. I was like, when I saw that, I was like, Damn. you got a headliner MCing? And I'm like, I wouldn't even think to pull that off. But it was great. His mind I was like, I, I couldn't believe Eric agreed to it. I'm like, that's fantastic. Yeah. Even even Howard and Greg were a little blown up, blown away by it. I'm like, oh, yeah, Eric is your MC. They're like, Eric is the MC? Because right, cause she's, always, she's always a headliner. Yeah, well, she MCs the open mic. Like, she's yeah. willing to do the work. But I was just like, fuck, man, you got nerve. Balls of steel. Right? I went after her, and I went after a headliner I like a lot. And clearly that didn't work because I headlined. Which well, was fine. Which was great, dude. How'd you feel? I'm disappointed you didn't do your full 150. Oh, 15 <laughs> minutes is a long time on stage. Wait, we're trying to get you to do three. Don't, don't bitch about his 15. 50. He didn't have 15. That's he right. had 150. Erica, Erica sold it big on me doing 150 minutes. Yeah, she did. It's she fucked you hard, hours. man. <laughs> Honestly, though, you guys, as, a, as an audience member, I just want to give a shout-out to all of them. They were all professionals. So that's I just like to say that Thanks, no matter man. what, they were, everybody was great. So Yeah, the people who showed up, 
professionals. Yeah. Right? Well, that's the thing, right? If you show up, you get more work. If you don't show up, then you're like, oh, why don't you book me? Because you didn't show up. Um, Which, things happen. Things happen. Which, so, like, Doug, Doug decided to do an experiment where he's got myself and he's got Ronnie booking the, the shows this month. <laughs> Ronnie is, like, doing podcasts with a goldfish. Like she, she literally, like, jumped through puddles at one of our podcasts. Hey, puddle jumping is a necessity. I'm just saying I'm we're doing this. That. We're doing this. And all of a sudden, she's jumping on puddles. I also had like, to trail behind them because there was uh, just a trail of the crispiest, crunchiest leaves. And these these two ungratefuls just walked right through them, oh, yapping away. And I was like, you know what? I gotta, I, I'll catch up. And I had to go back and like kick my way and crunch my way through them. I can't help it. You don't take time to appreciate the finer things. Smell some fucking roses, Doug. <laughs> Smell some roses. Step on some leaves. Jump, jump in a fucking puddle. puddle. Oh, jump in a puddle. Right. I, I wanted to do like I forgot. But I, 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 do it. <laughs> I had a I had a bit I wanted to do in my set. This made me think of it for some reason. Of like this came to me in a dream. I said this in a dream. I was like, if you're if you're not getting setbacks in your, when you're pursuing your goals, then you're not pursuing enough difficult things. And and I felt really good about that. Google to see if anyone else said it. I couldn't find anybody. And I put it on Facebook and people liked it. And I want to talk about that on my set. It was like really I was like I was like in my it, but, but like that's what my dreams are. But my dreams aren't like you're doing great or fucking awesomeness. My dreams are, hey, you fuck up, but it's okay. <laughs> At least you're challenging yourself. That's what my dreams are like. That's the encouragement my subconscious sends to I think me. Your subconscious <laughs> is taunting you. Oh right? man, but like you're not shit. doing the hard right shit. Wake my, up, get do some stuff. My subconscious is the biggest cock blocker in the world. I have never once had sex with a girl in my dreams. I have to the point where like, we're all just about to, and then I'm like. No, we shouldn't. I respect you too much. Or she's like, no, I gotta, I gotta go find my boyfriend. Never oh, once. Shut down my subconscious while you're has not let me ever. Forty-four years. And if, there's the goldfish. If there's ever a, def, a way of defining a comic, it's that you're ta- you taunt yourself even in your own dreams while you're sleeping. Your dreams hate you. Yeah, there's no, right. there's no respite. Like other people have happy dreams. They're like, oh, I love dreams. Are attacking you. Yeah. Come visit me when they take me to the bull ring, okay? The bull ring? What? Do okay, we get so to ride for eight I... seconds? You think you could last that long? <laughs> Woo! So... Longer. I'm a lot of man. I don't know. You said if things we'll are going well, you can't last long. That, I did make that very comment today on stage. <laughs> you don't be too excited. No, I, I trotted excited. over to smell the little roses, and she said she was going to laugh at me if I found a bee. And I just said, you know, well, come visit me when they cart me off to the bull ring. I still don't understand. How does the bull ring come okay, in? Okay, so once upon a time, there was an epic story of Ferdinand the Bull. Ferdinand no, the let's bull. just wait. I, I think I'm done. I don't want to be talking so John Cena movies. <laughs> Fuck off! Wait, it was a beautiful the bull. That was the, master. That was an animated movie, right? With John Cena, yeah. It was horrible, but the book, which came before the horrible, horrible John Cena singing bull fucking atrocity, was gorgeous. <laughs> okay, guys, let's turn around. <laughs> so the book was gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. The book All right. Was gorgeous. So, and, and there's a beat. All right. One of my but but we're not stories. we're not Do hearing not from so. Ferdinand. It's bad enough I had to listen to that chucklehead. Drag Joe Jackson across the coals. Not that he doesn't deserve it, but Michael Jackson and Ferdinand the Bull are a big deal to me. And tonight hurts. Joe Jackson or Michael Jackson? Because you said Joe Jackson. Anyway, never mind. So, um, Mike. <laughs> um, so, um, you ever thought about doing comedy on stage? Because we'll put you out. <laughs> right? Well, at this point, I think we'll put anybody out. Right? <laughs> so, I well, but know. we've had, I've had like four or five friends try it for the first time. And with different experiences. I had one friend, he's an engineer, and he went up for a minute and then he got off and he's like, I didn't see the light. I'm like, you didn't get the light. <laughs> We're, he was only doing three minutes, but he, wow. by two minutes, you know, we gave him the light, but at one minute he bailed. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, well, I guess I couldn't do any worse than that, huh? But um, Veronica's friend, Amanda, who I talk about, she, she came into three minutes and the first minute, just bombing, just no, just silence, just not connecting with the audience. And then she like shifts gears. This is, this is a good story. She shifts gears and suddenly she's amazing and the audience is in the palm of her hand. 
and you can see yeah, that it. That was kind of a cool. It was cool because she just like said, "All right, throw caution to the wind," and starts going this okay, bit about nice what the fuck. Right, and, I'm already like, bombing. Yeah, That's well, because right. I've had people do it the first time do really well, but I haven't had anyone go from like zero to one hundred and ten. Just be like, "Oh, okay, this isn't working." Wait, are you talking about Mandy? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. But the last because I because I, I video everything and so I, um, it's like the first minute and like and then oh. bam just side. the audience and we had one of the one of the one of the, one of the comics yeah. girlfriend be like she was my favorite and to be doing it for the first time and be the favorite of the audience is pretty amazing that yeah, yeah. That's what life is all about it's all about adapting or dying so and she <laughs> obviously adapted yeah. so she, but she go. adapted <laughs> in midstream yeah, well, yeah. like that was like. Um, impressive. Yeah, but I'm saying if you guys want to try it, it's a it's a great experience. <laughs> just to say you've done it, like, and just to face I've that crowd. It to him. That was how I talked to my yeah. In time. fact, the one of my daily PSAs a few days ago came from that guy. Yeah, oh, what's yeah, your, your PSA? Yeah, yeah, you know, I got so all about freaking checking your kids and stuff like that. Make sure you gotta check your kids every once in a while. So they, so they don't become yeah. So they become assholes. Later in life. That's and true. I added a tag on the end of it, but the rest, essentially it was his. Yeah. He's like, hey, I had an idea for a PSA if you need us. I, I need one for today. I'll take it. What was the PSA we came up with last podcast? When you find your filter. Oh, yeah. Violate it. When you find your filter, violate it. That became a PSA. I saw it. Yeah. yeah. Well, because we, we were having um, dinner and we're <laughs> in this like... It was a polite company dinner. Well, it was, it was relatively. <laughs> it was the three of us. And, and, it was and, a lot polite about it. And then Richard says something and he hesitates. He goes, for the first time ever, I'm hesitating. I finally found my filter. And me and Veronica are like, violate that some bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good PSA. When you find your filter, violate it. When you find that last vestige, that last barrier, <laughs> right? Which is last weird. Last bastion of hope. Like it's it's generally like I say just about whatever. Hang it. You well, do. we were in a restaurant. Yeah. Well, I, I try and like not. Say, I, I watch what I say in a restaurant. I, yeah, I don't. No, you don't. Shout out to Hunter. Oh yeah. Oh Hunter. my god, we had that waiter, and he yeah, was it was like a like a hipster. <laughs> Hip, like so hipster. super hipster. He had a hipster name, the hipster like, look. Hi, I'm Hunter. I'm back with your drinks. The name is Hunter. I'm here for you. All right. Well, okay, guys, I'm Hunter. Me, me and Mike always get the forgotten table. Oh. Every single time. So we don't ever know our server. It's always like, oh, we'll see them. Wherever we can wave down. After the manager. <laughs> like you're in a dessert us. island. Like, hey, <laughs> ship, look. Oh, sorry, we had a ship change. Somebody called out. That's pretty much it. Table. Yeah, <laughs> the last time we were at a restaurant, Thanks the manager was all like, oh, do you need new drinks? And I'm like, and Mike was like, yeah, you know, we, we haven't seen our server in a while. Server didn't Ever. talk to us the rest of the night. And then she <laughs> went on break. Oh. oh well, I hope wow. she got no tip. I hope she got zero tip. Like. Um, no, we still gave her a tip. No, Thank punish you. that behavior. Thank you. Yeah, they're oh, good no, people. No, no, no. no, no, no. no, no, no. I'm sorry. You, you went to school and, and you make a living wage. Those of us who were not the we ones still that got a the server hey, and this when I fuck up better, and my so clients are pissed, I refund the their money. Oh, yeah. All right. I don't. So, yeah, no, it doesn't matter. When you f don't do your job, you don't get paid. We well, yeah, but they're saying they got a different server. We got we got a different server and we got No, I mean, you tip the new server, but the old server, you're like, yeah, no. Um, cause like, anyway. Well, I don't know. You're probably gonna get a lot of hate mail on that one. So. <laughs> I'm okay with that. I'm okay. He's no, used to wait, it. So we go. So we go to this restaurant, right? He's and, a defense attorney. And I've got He's a, used to hate. Yeah, mail. they hate me, right? <laughs> Everyone hates me. Yeah. Oh, I didn't really. I got. I got some Yelp reviews, man. Um, <laughs> criminals are not happy with your work. <laughs> but I thought you were getting them off. Well, oh, oh, I do. But then they think back and they're like, "Oh man, I could have done better." Yeah. Like, you know, after, after the case is resolved, but like, <laughs> but like my back's all messed up. So I go in there and I can't like sit at the high tables and I can't sit in a booth. I just prefer not to. And I go in there and it's like one table area. And I'm like, yeah, we'll sit there. And the guy's like, it's closed. And I'm like, yeah, we're going to sit there. He's like, but the it's thing closed. But just like that. And I'm uh, like, hey, would you mind? I know it's closed, but could you please? Or, I have an issue, this is an ADA thing. No. I have just, a medical condition, like I need to sit in certain type of chair. Like, None of that no, just, no, we're going to sit there. Like, you don't want the secret sauce. Like, be nice. Right. 
Well, I bring Veronica with me like to smooth out certain social interactions. I do a lot of emotional labor hanging out with her. I can see that. Yeah. <laughs> I can see what you have to put she's like, I do a lot of the heavy lifting when it comes to, you know, People. personal interaction. <laughs> But I was like, all right, I was like, let's just give me the manager. Give me someone who's capable of making independent decisions. All right, I'm not gonna deal with you. Verbatim. Yeah. I hate yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> and her and I were like, well, someone's getting extra stuff on their food. <laughs> I'm like, but well, we left a good tip. I left like a good tip for them. Well, it was like, good. I like 22 percent or something. It was a good tip. Well, and, and Hunter. Hunter. Hunter, Hunter worked for it, I guess. Hunter. Yeah, he, well, he was attentive, but like we came in there with like yeah. their problem table. These guys are assholes. <laughs> Send in Hunter. I was gonna ask him if his friends are Caleb and Tanner. Oh, right. Good. Oh, why didn't you say that? That went so good. <laughs> Fucking... Because you would already, you would already. I stirred the, the pot, flow. man. I wasn't gonna add on top of it. I didn't want the extra protein. Sure. <laughs> I'm just. I'm, I'm hoping they only spit were in my guys food. In Malibu? Oh, no, we were in yeah, Burbank. We were in Burbank. Not the Burbank. <laughs> the BJ's, which is actually a pretty good place. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah, it's a, it's actually a pretty good, pretty good restaurant. Yeah. Their right. wings are good. Like yeah, that. it was like, uh, yeah, it was it's really really good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, was, um, it was yummy. Anyway, thanks for being on our podcast. That wraps yeah. up Theater School Rejects Forty Five. Fishy recorded. <laughs> well, welcome Thank to our you. fives of listeners. Yeah. <laughs> if you guys listen, we'll have sevens yeah, well, of listeners. There you go. That's what I mean. We just added two more right here. We had to listen. All right. Right. Now you got to listen so you can hear yourself. <laughs> <laughs>